creative art classes with John Mark. Today's lesson, how to draw a cartoon pumpkin. Hey, it's John Mark and welcome back to my series on how to draw cartoons with me. Today, as you can see, is going to be on a pumpkin. So the basic shape is an oval uh, circle that you can create yourself. Any shape for that matter, this is a pumpkin. They're all different shapes as you can see when you go to a farm or go to the store. So let's just start working on the face, creating some eyes, making it looking a little mean looking. And from there, I'm gonna create into several fun little ones after this one. But right now, let's get back to this one. A big mouth open. There we go. Two teeth in the front. And basically, it's just a quick sketch. As you can see, as quick as I'm drawing is as quick as I can right now. I'm not worried about the, the dark, areas because I'm going to be working on this in Illustrator, inking it, and Photoshop right after. And there we go, working on that area, putting up the stems, getting a little bit darker, and the outer edges. There we go. And as I shared in my other videos, make sure you stop by and see all the other ones as well because I teach different things in there. So right now I'm going to be on a little heavier, getting a little bit more in depth into the shape. I'm kind of molding as if this was like clay. All right, that's the thickness inside of the uh, pumpkin. And I'm just giving some little shading to give some dimension. There you go. Finishing that one up. All right, those are little uh, areas that indicates the you know it's a pumpkin there. And let's get the lines. And when I ink it in, I might not ink them all the way up, those lines, those inner lines, those, those grooves, just to give some break. When I color it in, you'll see that as well. Let's work on those fun eyes. Same thing again, giving some dimension. That's the thickness of the pumpkin here. Shading that in as well as the other side. There you go. And a little bit darker. Finishing this one up. There we go. Get the other line up. Okay, next one. Okay. And again, a little bit more detailed and darker. And the neat thing about a pumpkin, as a lot of vegetables and fruit combination, they could be any shape. You can't go wrong. That's what's the cool thing. So practicing multiple pumpkins and just use your imagination, tall, skinny, or flatter, all that's really good. Okay, here's the stem. I'm gonna make it like, go a little cut off there, and I'm gonna make like a little vine. Let me get that part right there. Okay, and there's a little shading there indicating for me when I'm coloring. And here comes that little curl that for that vine. That's as if uh, it's growing, not where the leaves grow. This is actually attaches so it can grab hold of things. Give them like a little hair. All right, and there we go. A little bit more detail shading on the side there to give some uh, dimension again, separating the light from the dark. And as you can see, when I shade, I had them wider so they look gray, it's not as dark. When you go tighter, they get darker. Let's drop a bottom base on there for him. And I think we finished this one. All right, let's sign it and date it as always. And thanks again for watching this video. Check us out on Facebook, that's JMG Studio, and on our Instagram account, that's JMG Studio Cartoon. Oh, hey, I hope you enjoyed our video today and make sure you hit the subscribe button because then you can see all our old videos as well as the new ones that are coming up. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care.